Yeah. I think we are so slow enough. All right. I didn't mean to kill the chat, but there you go. Recording. There you go. All right. Good. Good. For all y'all talk about snow, I'm from Miami and I hate the snow. And it we I'm snowed in right now in Louisville, Kentucky, and I'm hating it. So I know I'll hear all y'all celebrating snow, but I grew up with the idea you don't play in ice. <laughs> I just had to put that in there. All right. Not everybody happy about snow. Fair enough. I'm sure everybody happy to be alive. So we'll we'll agree. That y'all are breathing, even if it's labored. All right. Uh, in about 10 minutes, Deanna's is going to do, as, as a matter of fact, Deanna, why don't you start us off with the quality of life? Why don't you start us off real quick? Well, hello, Density 16, and welcome to 2004. So as we all embark on this new chapter, let's delve into the essence of personal and professional well-being. This year, let's redefine success by placing ourselves at the forefront of our priorities. I'm gonna repeat that. This year, let's redefine success by placing ourselves at the forefront of our priorities. In the whirlwind of our daily tasks, it's crucial to pause and reflect on what truly matters. Making a conscious effort to prioritize our individual needs, we not only nurture our own growth, but also contribute to a more resilient and successful Density 6. A key theme for the year is letting go of what no longer serves us. This could be outdated processes, unproductive habits, or even negative thought patterns. By shedding these layers, we create room for innovation, creativity, and overall improvement. The act of letting go is liberating, paving the way for a more agile and adaptive work environment. Repeating, the act of letting go is liberating, paving the way for a more agile and adaptive, adaptive work environment. A vital aspect of personal growth is practicing patience and forgiveness towards ourselves. In a world that often demands immediate results, it's important to acknowledge that progress takes time. Embracing setbacks as part of the learning process and extending forgiveness to ourselves fosters a positive and resilient mindset. This attitude not only benefits our individual journey, but also contributes to a supportive and understanding team culture. Mindful decluttering is a holistic approach we should adapt. Beyond organizing our physical workspaces, it, it involves decluttering our minds as well. Streamlining tasks, setting clear priorities, and embracing simplicity can significantly enhance focus and productivity. A clutter-free a clutter -free work environment promotes a sense of calm and clarity, providing the foundation for successful endeavors. Now, while striving for excellence, let's not forget the importance of having fun. Work should be fulfilling and enjoyable. So take breaks, celebrate achievements, and foster a positive and collaborative atmosphere. Infusing a sense of fun into our daily tasks not only boosts morale, but also sparks creativity and innovation. A joyful work environment contributes to higher levels of engagement and overall job satisfaction. So in conclusion, 2024, while it may be the worst greatest year ever, it holds immense potential for personal and, co and collective growth at Density 6. By emphasizing self-prioritization, letting go of what doesn't serve us, cultivating patience and forgiveness, embracing mindful decluttering, and injecting a dose of fun into our work, we are setting the stage for a year of meaningful accomplishments and enhanced well-being. So D6ers, 
Here's to a fantastic journey ahead for each of you and for Density 6 as a whole. All right, good. Y'all let me your mics and give us some feedback and some praise about Ooh, that there. Yeah. If you've ever yeah. seen the mo the TV show Snowpiercer, where they do whoop, whoop. The, the W, where he does the talking, that's what that reminded me of when you're like on the radio every morning. Okay, good, good, good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so I've got uh, made a lot of changes. We the first thing, everything about today is quarter one facing so i want y'all to remember that like we we we're operating in this idea of, of quarter one et cetera, et cetera et cetera et cetera et cetera so we're going to talk about a lot of that here in a second diana i had you go first because i know you need to move locations so you can cut your camera off move locations and then just just stay in tune with the uh yeah or call in so you don't use any data yeah there you go see see how i'm i am thinking and stuff see look at me look at me there you go all right so she's going to disconnect and call back in hurry up and i'm gonna stall while you while you call back in because everybody needs to know some information oh you say you quarter? To stall. i'm gonna stay on until i pick up on my phone so you can keep going outstanding okay, you said quarter ahead. quarter one absolutely did you say facings or quarter okay Probably i'm gonna just put did. quarter one whatever. okay yeah, yeah. Okay. whatever i said uh Whatever I said, I'm sure. But yeah, we'll talk about it. Okay. So the only time you're going to see me is Thursday nights, Friday morning. This particular thing is mandatory. Okay, Friday morning for all of y'all to come up, salespeople, et cetera. Other than that, you go about your business. As far as the sales team goes, you are looking at super short daily meetings, 15 minutes. 15 minute huddles, what the Kenotras would say. And eventually that would be led by Carl, almost said Carson. That would be led by Carl. Grace has been doing a lot of training behind the scenes for to empower other people. So that works there in itself. If you are in the marketing department, you are doing a good job. There's not, there's plenty you can do and not nothing you can do all at the same time. Because the focus right now is money. Can I get a witness? It's gonna, gonna I think everybody here needs Amen. money. Yes. It, it, is there one who does not need money? Is it all right? Then. So not all of you are human. That's the focus. And some of you can see behind the scenes, some of you cannot. If you have not seen it's because your department is so far away from sales that you cannot see. You just, you just cannot see. If you are, the closer you are to sales, the more you see how busy and how much work is being done. And it is busy and it is a ton of work. So we're, we're gonna, we need to talk a lot about that. I'm gonna talk about organization and where you are and what you can and cannot see. If you are not in the company per se, you can still and apply it to your particular company. Okay. First thing on my agenda would be Assembly of Wonders and Wonder Con. So give me a second because I know some of y'all are wondering and we will come to that. It'll be the first thing on my list as far as proper deep dive. Right now I'm giving a big overview thing I'm about to hear. Grace, if you're taking notes, everything that comes out of my mouth should be a note today. Everything. And then every Friday, it should be a note because there's only one meeting from the CEO and it's going to be every Friday morning. That means every time I got seven days to come up with the most important things to say. So this will always be here. Here's the punchline. And Anne-Marie, I hope you feel better. I can obviously relate to not feeling well. If you are wondering something, I've constructed where we are going to go and how we're going to get there into 2094. I don't know what 2095 looks like, but I absolutely know what 2094 looks like. You can see it in our company structure. 
I will share that on the screen so you can see. I probably won't share that on the screen now that I think about it. I will read it out loud and share some elements of it on the screen. Some of it, I will tell you what we're going to do, but it's so much detail of how we're going to do it. I do not want to put that on the screen. Like Apple's not telling you how they've been working on a self-driving car for the last 10 years. I'm not going to do that either because we're working on things like that. So I need you to front face with me and look to 2094 and what does that look like? Now, it's not, it's not hyperbole. $22 word, hyper, too much. Hyperbole is a word. It's not taking words and making them so big or putting some on it, Grace. It's simply uh, trying to get you to understand that there is a plan and it is vigorously being followed, vigorously being followed. It's also vigorously being kicked in the face and changed because the only thing that is constant in this world, Tanya, is change. So we are married to the mission, but we are dating the methods. That's is what we're doing. How we get there, we're in a casual relationship with there. Where we're going, we are in a to death do us part to get there. We're married to the mission, but we are simply dating the methods. And most, most successful companies and people are stringent about where they're going, but very flexible about how they get there. That's something that you all can learn as we move forward. Here's a layout for the day, Grace. I'm going to... I'm going to split this talk in nine sections. First section is going to be WonderCon. Second section is AOW, Assembly of Wonders. I'm going to get both of them out of the way. The third section is going to be, just call it immediate cash. Just call it that. Okay. Immediate cash. The, what, what section, what, what did I just say? Was that third? Fourth? That was fourth? Outstanding. No, 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 that was Fifth, third. That was third. That was You're third. on number four. Okay. Fourth section will be everything occurring in quarter one, and it's a lot. Sixth section will be. Fifth section. Whatever section that I just mm -hmm. said will be, how do I want to say this? Uh, it would be which divisions are going to be way too busy for comfort and transfers. Put that for me. And transfers, because we've transferred a few people. Anybody who asks to be transferred, I have honored your request without resistance whatsoever. Nobody was shot down at all. Nobody. Then we're going to talk about Sales and sales funnels. And then call call this call this next section. Our our Life-changing, no, world-changing, there we go, Grace. Uh, world-changing, changing the world today. That's what you can call it, Grace. Changing the world today. There you go. Changing the world today. And then the last section is 2094. And I probably didn't do nine, so I don't know where I'm at. Yeah, you you stopped at eight. Eight, okay. Well, eight, eight it is. Looks like I miscounted or something. I'm like, put these headphones higher on my head. All right, I have my hair in some sort of bun and it's stopping my headphones. Okay. Let me see what Deanna just texted me. And she is out and about. Oh, okay, cool. 
All right, there. All right. That's everything that's about to happen. I'm going to go through one to con and assembly wonders rapidly, well, not rapidly. And then I'm going to do a hard pause because I need to get those out the way first. WandaCon is on. I am not canceling it. I will look stupid before I cancel it. I'm just telling you right now, I will not under any circumstances cancel WandaCon. I am changing what it's going to look like, though. I'm going to decrease to, so you don't have a venue yet. It's in Houston, north side of Houston. You don't have a venue yet because I've decreased it due to a four, a, a bunch of different things. The, the, we just didn't sell. We just have not sold enough tickets. I'm just, just keep it real with you there. We have not sold enough tickets at all, not even close. And for the most part, while that is a sales team problem, it's not the sales team fault. It's not the sales team fault. Remember, yes, I it told. Is. You, yes, well, it is. Not you, well, not the team, but. Well, Maybe. no doubt, no doubt. Any responsible, self-respecting person would absolutely do what you just did. And I appreciate and respect that. But I, I need to explain to y'all what's happening. And just, just let me explain without trying to teach. And then you will then be able to make your companies better or whatever the hell you want to do, with whatever you're trying to do. Okay, let me just explain here. The goal is to figure out what you are and who you are. That's the goal. That's the goal. And I said this in November. I said, we're going to figure out by March who we are. We're absolutely going to figure out by March who we are. Well, I figured it out in December. And I came back and said, oh, well, I figured it out real quick. What we are is now we're a very technical company with great marketing skills that don't sell too well. That's what we are. There's nothing nothing wrong with that. That's what we are. It's also why for the last 30 days, that's what I've been addressing, Phil. Sales and sales only. It's when you know what you are, you can then address what you are. This is exactly why the full emphasis here is sales and sales only. I had a private conversation with Anne Marie months ago. At this point, I was like, I'm going to put a pause on what we're doing over there and, and uh, the, the bringing people in. It had nothing to do with Anne Marie. It had everything to do is that Anne Marie, that's when I figured out who we are. So, therefore, I needed to go fix who we are. So, I'm bringing in some dogs, okay, to borrow from sports that's hungry about these sales. Y'all you know, understand what I'm saying? It's hungry around the sales just hungry 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 i told Jalen this in the off the cuff conversation i can go do it myself because i i i, I i'm a better salesperson than anything that i do the problem with that is if i go to the sales floor ain't no company there ain't no company there's there's no there's no forward there's no nothing because I'll be stuck in sales. There ain't no apps. There ain't no no nothing. Because sales, how many, I don't, some of y'all don't know. Those of you who know how to sell, that's your life. That, <laughs> you don't, you don't double use. task, multitask, mm -mm. Uh, whatever. Ta you, that's your life. Just the, the, the amount of dust you got to kick up in the air to set appointments alone you can genuinely make a strong career of just being an appointment setter for closers like that's how serious sales are like you just you make 100 calls a day or whatever however you want to do it doesn't matter whatever you whatever technology you're using just to be what we call a scheduler and that's a full-time job it's a full-time job the good thing is we don't have any problems because you just got to know who you are if 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 Susan knows that she has sensitive skin, then she's not going to buy detergent soaps. It's not it's not something offensive. This, this is she doesn't go, oh my God, stupid skin gets stronger. No, you buy natural products. It's as simple as that. You just make the adjustment. 
So if what we have can't sell tickets or whatever, you just go get what can sell tickets. Have I made myself clear? All right. Why is that important? Well, because Anne Marie's light bill company don't care about her not feeling well. They want their money. Can y'all relate? Is that, is that the first of the month cometh, don't it? Some of y'all balled out in Christmas and you realized seven days later was the first. You, you, you can, like the, if they don't care. They don't care. Oh, oh, Pastor Tony. Oh my God. You're a, you're a reverend church. Oh my God. Your wife's a nurse. Oh, uh, $453.23 though, please. Please. Okay. That, that's how it that's how it works. He he can't go uh mortgage. I preached this Sunday. No, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> Trust Let me. Let me know though, because I'd like to try that. I know that's right. <laughs> I'm not mad at you at all. Not mad. So between grace and call and their leadership, just expect great things to change. Yes. Yes, outstanding. Yes. So what's gonna happen is there's gonna be some I'm gonna get some I'm like get like a mansion or something like that. I don't know what. And we've got people to pay, you know what I'm saying? Like and so it's, it's gonna be a little bit intimate setting and we're gonna turn the conference into a movie now. See, some of y'all should pay attention because there is no good news, there is no bad news. You just make quarterback adjustments. You just make quarterback adjustment. We got a lot of people online. We're gonna have more people online. Audibles, exactly. You got a lot of people online, and some people who pay thousands of dollars to be in person. So you make it now intimate setting, film it greatly. Now you got the online, and instead of it being a big conference, it's a big movie. That with the current budget that we have, with the current capabilities, we can pull off. It's either that or... No, it ain't, it ain't nothing else. I want you to notice, I have not lowered the goal. I did not say, don't hit these numbers. You're not, you're not paying attention. I didn't move the target. I promise you, for as long as I live and breathe, we will never move a financial target. It's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. Listen to me very well. Losers. For me, there's only winners and losers. There's no in-between. There is no average. Les Brown has a very kind way of making y'all feel good, which I completely disagree with. Uh, he said there's winners and losers and people have not yet figured out how to win. That sounds real good on stage. But the asset and liability column that Bank of America has against you is not, they don't have a checkbox there, Susan. Well, sh sh Phil just haven't figured out yet how to pay us. Nope, it's not there, okay? It's not there. So I disagree with it. I don't disagree with him. I just disagree with such passivity because what we do is we lower the target so we can hit them. And that's loser mentality. Letting that hang there for a while. Damn, letting that hang there for a while. We have a winner's mentality. So we do not lower targets. We're going to hit them. And we're going to keep going until we learn how to hit them. I should have got an amen or something right there, whatever y'all believe. Because that is how you run your life. We will not lower targets. We'll, we'll flip audible. We'll go from conference to movie, but the damn target is the target. And so Grace got some work to do. It is what it is. It is what it is. We will not lower targets because to lower the target is also to lower your salary. And let's just face it. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Okay. So, All right. So, someone, someone sent me a private message asking, um, is there a script that gives that comes with selling tickets? And are they allowed to sell tickets? They want to take a stab at it. I'm not mad at them, okay? The, the answer to that question is ask Grace. Yes, it is. Grace will <laughs> supply it to you. Yes. I'm I'm very <laughs> careful now to 
Grace, you in charge. I'm very careful of that. You understand? Yes, by sir. by noon today, Grace will hand that out to everybody who wants it. Is that okay? All right. Cool. Well, we got that. Conference is still on. Chef Jay is still catering. It just went from 300 plates to I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it is now. Like in person. We ain't got to feed nobody online. Y'all got to go eat your potted meat and your, your spam and whatever y'all do. On your own. Potted meat. Yeah, well, I don't know what you do, but you know, you know whatever y'all got to do, you got to do that there. Okay. So that's WonderCon. Everything's still a go. Everything's in place. But I told I told Jalen, and I, I'm going to tell y'all what I told Jalen. So, so when Jalen calls some of y'all and say, hey, man, uh, Antonio made me scale back. He not lying. I told Jalen. This was my exact words to Jalen. Jalen, you can number you, Mike, and verify. I said, Jalen, I got an option. I can pay you. And well, I, mean, I can scale back and still, I, and this is what I told him. I said, I'm not going to get paid. Deanna not going to get paid. Grace not going to get paid. But if you're doing film, I can pay you. And I could pay Chef J. And I'm okay with that. Or you can do what you're trying to do. And ain't nobody getting paid. Jalen, did I not say this? No, no, no. I, I, I need to unmute your mic and let them hear that I told you this. Sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, we definitely had that talk. It was uh it was one of those like the show must go on. I'm not canceling nothing. But also like this is what it is. It's the first time we're doing this. Next time, I refuse to let it be the there same. That's the attitude I want. Y'all get it? If I cancel, I'm going to teach y'all targets are supposed to be moved. And I ref over my dead body. I refuse. I won't do it. I will not do it. We are. We are gods amongst men, and we will not lower targets. Period. Point blank. We can do what we're going to do. And making money is a large reason why y'all will have the best benefit packages known to man. So we can't be lowering targets. Yes. Outstanding. Go ahead, Grace. Um, sir, for those who are coming in person, they, if, uh, if they have um, booked a hotel, should they keep what they have? Or oh, absolutely. They... Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, absolutely. Yeah. It's, it's everything. It's gonna, you're gonna be thirty minutes away or something like that. Yeah, you're just fine. Did it? Um, <laughs> sorry, just because <laughs> what you just said that made a lot of sense, and now I got to be quiet because I was just gonna ask: Did the hotel or interest in all that change, and then like the concierge and all, all that type of stuff? I'm moving the venue to something smaller now, but not smaller. So when you okay, give me, give me, I don't, I'm trying to communicate properly here. I don't mean smaller in quality because that's not what you do. I mean smaller in grand conference hall to mansion. You know, that's that's what I said earlier. Mansion. Just because I'm moving the menu, if I if let's say we have uh, let's just say 15 people for easy math. 15 people there. Chef Jay is going to cook a great grand ordeal for 15 people. Now I can take that budget and say, lavish these 15 people in this mansion. Do y'all get what I'm saying? I'm not saying we go in the pizza hut. Moving it because I'm not lowering the target. The budget is still the budget, Phil. It just means it's going to be reallocated and surplused to a different venue to a different people. You know what I'm saying? Like there's nothing, you, we're not gonna go from caviar to grits. We're not gonna do that. You, you get, we're not gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? So it's moving only because I'm, I'm now looking for something really, really, really pretty. Because for me that, and, and in, that VIP, actually what I probably do is I probably make everybody who has bought an in-person ticket a VIP. And that's what I'm, that's, that's the fact I just decided because Susan nodded her head. So everybody who has bought a ticket 
It was going to be a VIP. So now all of you are VIPs because that VIP day is special. It's, it's special. And I don't, and that's what I really want on film. That's what I really want on film. That VIT, v, VIP day, that red carpet and stuff is completely special. But y'all get the idea. There's nothing wrong. Not even close to wrong. It's just an audible. It's just you're going from this. St- there's no stage. Well, um, don't think stage. Think wow i should buy a house like this one day think that versus you know versus stage okay think think that it's like think about going to joel osteen's christmas party at his house or something something like that you know what i'm saying something something like that okay all right good so that's that also an assembly of wanderers pastor tony doesn't know it yet but i'm sure somewhere in his spirit he does and Prophet Jerry, blah, blah, blah. I am opening up starting Saturday, so every Saturday from 8 a.m. to 8.50, we will have an Assembly of Wanderers service. We, we used to call them meetups. I'm not sure we even call them anymore. There will be other services. We're not a church. However, I am actively looking for Muslims to teach the Quran, for Jews to teach the Torah, for Christians to teach the Bible. Like I want this big melting pot of, of humanity. I mean, I was looking for a fancy word, Phil, but let's just call it what it is. I want a big melting pot of humans being human with one another. Okay. With one another. So it gets get a Trump supporter to teach Trumpian or whatever. Who knows? Okay. Just the point is get get these things here together. So from now on, starting next Saturday, not this Saturday, next Saturday, 8 to 8.50, 50 minute service, a real deal service. It would be online unless you are here in Houston. We'll be online 8 to 8.50. You will see me teach. I'm not teaching the Bible. I'm going to leave that to Pastor Tony and stuff. I'm teaching Let's just call it everything is perfect. We'll just go there. And I typically teach in series. So the first series, I think it's called Embracing Perfection. I think it's a three-part series or something like that. I can't remember. I got it written down already, though. A to A50. Here's the deal. That's obviously, think of this as spiritual. Think of this as spiritual. This is your, let's just use the word church or something. Church or mosque for a moment. Think of this as church or mosque. This is a church or mosque or synagogue service. Yeah, I got it. So you are coming because you are coming. You're not coming because you're an employee. Don't don't, don't do that. (laughs) Don't do that. That's not what I'm doing here. You're coming because this is where I get my spiritual food or whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say. That's why you're coming. And every every meetup, there would be a, a donation link, assemblywonders.com slash build for you to donate for, and all your donations go to adopting children. Well, it's, it's on the website. It's on the website. You don't have to ask me. It's literally spelled out on the website. Grace, go to assemblywonders.com slash build and show it on the screen. It's on the website. I, I kid you not. It tells you everything. College student loans, all that stuff. It tells you every single thing there. Period. It's got this whole, it's, I did it like a landing page. It tells you every single thing there, what it's going to, from radio station stuff to inner studio loans to adopting children, blah, 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 blah. But it's a fellowship. So Pastor Tony, me and you would get together offline. Pastor Tony is going to pick a day in the week in which he himself, on his own, would like to teach from his biblical perspective, whatever he's going to teach. Okay, yeah, just scroll down quickly, Grace. I just want people to see that it's there, like playing gifts. Are you hold on, scroll up to that top part. Yeah, that's that's right there, right there, right. This is coming back up. Breeding means coming back up. Scroll up now to this technical part right here, Grace. Right there. So right here. I, not only your it's all tax deductible. It's all tax deductible, every single thing. 
You can do charitable benefits. You do life insurance. It doesn't matter. Your retirement plan is all tax deductible and the information is on the website. You can stop your screen, Grace. The information is on the website. It's all tax deductible. Did y'all get that? All tax deductible. Technically, Assembly of Wanderers is a government. It is not a, a, a church or something. It's not a religion whatsoever. That's why I got so many different things going on. Okay, those two things are going to be doing a hard pause there. It's the set. It's the the first thing is going to be Saturday next Saturday, eight a.m. to eight fifty. We'll go in out because Antonio don't know another way. I've never had a long service in my life. I don't believe in them, Phil. And growing up in black church would make you not believe in them four hour church it's too much okay <laughs> i had to i had the adverse reaction to that no we're not doing that no more okay we're not doing that 50 minutes 50 minutes hard pause okay i had to get those things out the way because some of you have spent a thousand dollars and writing you money where you're going to be at stuff i want to do that there i am crazy excited about where we are and what we're doing so much to the point to where the opposite is showing all up in my life, y'all. Please, let me trust you. It's showing up all up in my life. It's showing up. Because in order to do anything great, the opposite has to show up first. And I've been telling Grace all, all year, we love the opposite, don't we, Grace? And she's like, yes, we love the opposite. Okay. And, and I'm trying to convince my brain, we love the opposite. The opposite is great. It is fun. Now, it's, that's delusional, but only delusional people get into the top 1%. Let's keep it real. Nobody ever, nobody of any sanity ever said, I wonder if we should go to the moon. That is that is not a sane thought. There's nothing about that. that. That came from some weed or some mushrooms or something. Nothing about going to the moon is a sane person's thoughts. It's not, it's not sane. Delusional people change the world. Delusional people. Uh, Uncle Mishan got God's lives matter. What does that mean? I want to have everybody in unity. That is not a same thought. The same thought is us versus them. But we didn't come here to be sane. We came here to be insane. Salt of the earth. Anyway, I ain't gonna bother y'all. So I want to I want to pause right here and re reiterate or stress wholly to all of you that not only are we moving very quickly, some of you can't, you can't see it. We'll be about to talk about it because you, if you're not close to sales, you can't see it. If you're not close to sales, you can't see it. But I want you to know this is where prayer warriors come in. Let me explain. In religious circles, there's always a wise Susan Phil that a mama joy that goes, hey, we should have prayer warriors praying for this agenda that was just set forth because we know the enemy is going to attack. Some of y'all too young for this. You don't understand. Some of y'all too young, but the folk I name, they understand what I'm talking about. So the moment that we start winning and doing well things who Dion calls the enemy is like oh no y'all not Pastor Tony had an argument with his wife all year joined this company uh, friction but it just for no reason you know, he, he they had an argument all week he got a preacher sermon feel good about the sermon on the way to the church they ain't talking to each other. This is how it works. Okay. This, this is how it works. <laughs> this is how it works. So I want you all. I, I can't tell you what to do, but I can highly suggest to all of you that you need some sort of prayer warriors, some sort of groups, a friend. I don't, I don't, I don't care if you call, I want but in meditation. That means how you want to do it is up to you, but Hear me very well. Anything you care about, the opposite is going to show up in that area. 
that's the way life works. It's, <laughs> no, that's 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 the it's that's the way life works. I, I, it's it's the way life works. The movie The Secret leaves us out. I don't think they did it on purpose. They had like ninety minutes to do some stuff. The opposite must show up because you can't see what you're praying for if everything that you're in looks like what you're praying for. If everything looks like... I'm so sorry. I just had to unmute and say thank you so much for that reminder. Yes. So now I can appreciate the... I can appreciate being drugged through the porta potty now. So thank you. I'm sure it smells like a porta potty too. <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> for real. It has to show up. This is why Anne Marie ain't feeling good in the throat and stuff and blah, blah, blah. It has to show up. And hear me well, it's only going to show up where you like that thing. So whatever you like. Think, think about this, wife. Hey, y'all, if, my car stopped this morning. I'll okay. it away. Right. Hallelujah. See, <laughs> see, she loved her independence. Her car stopped. The enemy like, oh, you ain't. You will not leave my domain. Yeah, yeah, not. To take it out of spiritual talk, I give it to you scientifically. It's called escape velocity. Wherever you are sitting right now, there's some sort of ceiling over your head unless you're outside if you're outside then it's even better none of you have the core strength in your stomach or the thigh strength or calf strength to jump and break through that ceiling you would genuinely hurt your head you and your neck but if i put attach rockets to your thighs you're gonna hurt the ceiling you won't even feel you break through that ceiling because you're going to move so fast. And please hear me very well. That is how your dreams work. If you're not in your dreams, it's because what you're doing doesn't have enough escape velocity. Oh my God. This is science. You cannot get out of the atmosphere. You cannot leave planet earth unless you move fast enough to have enough velocity to escape gravity. I kid you not. Everybody's saying the same thing. I gave it to you the spiritual way. I'm giving it to you scientific way now. Your dreams are not working, not because of your leadership. Your plan does not have enough escape velocity behind it. You need to do another video. You need to be like Jalen and edit at two in the morning. This is what you need to do. You have to have escape velocity. So I'm fitted, we, this is the pause. I said, remember I said I want to pause. We're getting ready to move forward. So I'm going to drive this home, Pastor Tony. We're going somewhere rapidly and quickly, and we have a great culture. That means everything you love, you're going to have to have the escape velocity in those areas for it not to be affected and go down. Give you an example. Let's say you got to, let's say you like me and you're a provider. That means my children, uh, I was going to say my children mean everything to me. That's not true. My children don't mean everything to me. My children's opinion about my provisions I have given them mean everything to me. Yeah, y'all can lie all you want to. I, I'm Self-awareness is a superpower. So what is superpower? I'm glad they're born, but ever since they've been born, I've been thinking about what they think about how I'm providing for them way more than I've been thinking about their first breath. I ain't even thought about their first breath until I just said first breath. But I think all the time, am I changing my kids' worldview enough to where they don't have to go out and go get poverty and pick people in poverty? Am I doing that? Am I, am I helping them live their dreams? Am I doing that? I think about that all the time. I don't even think about if they breathe this morning. 
I just assume they will. There was a great quote I saw on Facebook many years ago, almost a decade ago, that said, what if you woke up this morning with only the things you thank God for yesterday? I didn't thank God for my kids breathing. So they'd be dead. They'd be dead this morning. <laughs> so, okay. So, I'm just trying to, uh, thank you, Susan. I'm just trying to get you to see that so as a provider, guess what opposite going to show up for me, Susan? And whatever I made a meaning about what my kids think about what I'm doing, and I got to have enough escape velocity not to get stuck there. So what does that look like? Me calling Anne Marie and say, hey, just tell me good job. Like, don't even, don't even just, just call me once a day and say, you're doing a good job. This, I literally did this with Deanna. Like, just, just, I need, to, I have, I have Deanna on scheduled time just to compliment me. Am I lying, Deanna? And I told him, I said, look. I said, everybody's programmed. I just need you to call me uh, or or come in the room, something like, because I'll be gone and she'll be gone. I need you to do whatever you got to do and just say, well, you're doing a good job. Don't even matter. I just need that programming. This is my way of saying good. I just, I need, I need it before I get off alignment. Hopefully y'all heard what I said. If not, don't worry. The seed's been planted. You will hear it sooner than later. You will hear it sooner than later. We're going somewhere. But if, if you love your mom, oh, what a wonderful time you about to have. You love your dad. Yeah, you're not listening. If you are at the age where you take care of your parents and you got your heart and soul into it, opposite don't do it. show don't, up over there. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't that's what you talking about. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you what you talking about? That's how it works. If you like your health, it's gonna be real hard to get to the gym. And your job is to have the escape velocity. Grace asked me the other day. I think it was yesterday, actually. Grace asked me, Well, how do you she asked me something like, How do you do so much? And how do you do this? Oh, it was two days ago. Uh -huh. Two days ago. To, to, to tell her what you asked me real quick. Who always has a million things to do, and I, I ask, how do you just, how do you do it all? <laughs> and he and just, he my answer was simple. All of my answer was simple. Grace, I do it. Y'all, depression. Your ancestors were not depressed. It's impossible. They move too much. You only depressed when you're sitting and thinking. I'm trying to liberate somebody today, Pastor Tony. You already did. What's up? <laughs> you cannot be depressed. That's what, I, moving. that's what I said. That's what I said, Renee. I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm not trying to tell you that your medicine, that you don't have a mental disorder. That's not what I'm trying to tell you. I am absolutely saying your mental disorder would be a lot more useful hitting them weights or something or whatever you're doing. This, this has nothing. You cannot be depressed moving because scientifically your body going to say, you know what? Here's some endorphins, Susan, since you're moving. And all those adrenaline and them happy hormones going to get, and that's what's going to happen. So as the opposites show up, guess what? Escape velocity, move in that area. And, and then it just, it will be what it is. So I told Grace, you only feel that way, Grace, because you're sitting there thinking. Stop thinking. <laughs> Stop thinking. Move, and you will have a problem. And that is truly, truly a word right there. Okay. <laughs> I should say, dang, damn it. That's truly a word right there. All right. Now, picking back up, Grace, what was my second? It should have been 30. Oh, uh, you're, you're, yeah. on, you're on the third one right now because you did WonderCon and Assembly of Wonders. Now, the uh, third one is immediate cash. Immediate cash. All right. So we're in the process of hiring 30 salespeople who want to be in a startup because because what we're doing now is all startup stuff, not the education side, but everything, everything else. Like now, 5% of this company is old. The rest of it is all new. Only 5%. And you could you could typically you could typically tell what's the old part because everything is ease there and everything else is like all over the place. So we're hiring people who like startups, like this stuff here, blah, blah, blah. 
So that means in our AI and tech division, we've started, what you call it, motorized shutters and rolling thingamabobbies. Okay, you should have, if you was in the sales training, you rolling screens, have, mm -hmm. whatever you call it, whatever. It's, it's money and there's a lot of money in it. Rolling screens and shutters. However you want to say it. It's a lot of money in it. Rolling screens and shutters, you know, like the, you ever seen the movie, I mean, Purge, and they got the fancy people, they hit the little button and they come down, you know, okay, all that stuff like that. So you're going to, you're starting to see this major focus on money, which is given also a major focus on personnel to bring in said money. So let me explain how this money is going to work. These salespeople are going to be spoiled publicly. So spoiled. I know y'all not going to get jealous because y'all are the right people, but I'm going to do everything I can to make you jealous of how spoiled they're going to be. Because let's face it, Pastor Tony, all money come through sales. You might want them to be spoiled. So I'm going to make a change here, Deanna. When we, when commissions, I want commissions paid out daily. As they come in, I want them out. I don't want people waiting on Friday. I said what I said, do not override me. Daily. Why? Because I want them addicted. As a salesperson, you understand? As a salesperson who gets it, I want them addicted to cha-ching, because the more they cha-ching for them is the more they cha-ching for the big pot. Yes? All right. I want that. I ain't worried about commissions going to get paid out daily. It is what it is. It ain't illegal. That's what we're going to do. Because as a salesperson, I want my stuff daily. Okay? That's what we're going to do. Plus, you got the 30 salespeople, so that's what you see. That's in that division. I won't go in much detail because it's not a sales training. But we're boots on the ground in Houston. We focus on greater Houston area, which is a very large area. It's it's bigger than the state of New Hampshire. It's bigger than Vermont. It's, greater Houston is a really big area. It really is. It really is big. It's the fourth largest city in America. <laughs> fourth largest city in America. So it's huge. It's huge for sure. And then, so we're doing the fourth largest city and the surrounding areas that, that when you say, where are you from? Houston? They're not from Houston. They're from Santa Fe, but they just say Houston because you don't know what Santa Fe is, right? Those areas, yeah, stuff like that, <laughs> stuff like that. So we got crews on the ground and we have them in Houston and some of our salespeople are in Houston. So you're going to see a lot of Grace being mobile, Cal, Cal, Carl being mobile. I messed that boy name up twice right now. I wanted to call him Carson, and now he's Calvin. Uh, you must have got some money coming your way. So, okay, I don't know. Carson, that's actually not a bad name. But anyway, Calvin, that's probably a bad name. Hey! Oh, Calvin's okay. Then. There you go. So, <laughs> boots on the ground. We got the crews out there already, et cetera. So, I'll move on from that. We'll go into the next one. Don't want to go into detail there. Just know that that's the immediate cash. All right, everything coming out quarter one. So, I should be great. Okay. Let's start off with 17 sales funnels first. Let's start off with that. We're going back to having all these sales funnels. Yes. We, I think we went three, three or four years, four years past the time I was selling anything because we was re-shifting the company. But whenever we had sales funnels, funnels, we were rolling in dough. We're going back. I actually have one done now, but I did something to the site. I'm going to take some of the things on my side of things and roll them over to density six. So it's going to be a bit confusing to understand what's company money, what's not. So since it is confusing, I'm just making everything company money. It's making it all company. Just to, to alleviate confusion, it's all company money, all going towards salaries. I'll, I'll clap myself, just clap myself, just, just to make it all unconfused so 17 sales phones we got all the products i'm building them right now i was going to have amory do it and i was going to have grace do it and i was like i want to do it myself because i don't think anybody understands sales funnel better than me and 
but it's personal because I want to take on that responsibility because I'm trying to lead from the foxhole. If you don't, if you're not, I don't, I don't know a non military way to say that. But it's, it's my military background. Tanya gets it. I'm, you know, it's my military background. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm the general on the battlefield. I'm not way back there. You know, on the horse. No, I, I'm on the battlefield. Like we, I'm, I'm right next to Susan with the swords. You know, like you know, Game of Thrones, all that stuff. No, I'm right there. You know, so those those steps, I want to do it myself. So we start with those. So just know so that's that's 17 streams of income. That's what you should have heard. In December, we had zero streams of income. <laughs> 17. 17. Grace, count these streams of income so people can understand. That's 17. <clears throat> Additionally, we have one, two, three, four, five apps coming out. Four of them make money. One does not. In no particular order. I don't want to give an order. But candid. I should probably explain these apps too, shouldn't I? Yeah, I'm, I'm explaining them too. I'm going to listen. Please to do, apps. especially, especially Candid. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. And yeah. So Candid, which is <clears throat> a music podcasting app. Caramella Smash. Caramella actually means candy in Greek or something like that. That's why. That's why I got it from. So Candy Smash. It's a video game. It's a video game. It's yeah, it's a video. It's a video game. It's our. It's already. Anyway, it's like kind of like Candy Crush or whatever video game. Phoenix Eon, Burn Chat, and then a D six app. I got the D six app last. D six app just mean where y'all gonna be clocking in. That's all. That one don't make any money. I got the front end done. I don't have anything else done. Wait, what was the last one called? What do you call the last D6. one? D six. I just call it D six app. Okay. We we need some sort of central place to log in. Okay, let me put the WandaCon link out there for the private messenger. Give me a second now. And hey, look at you. You didn't read it out loud. It must be a new year. It's a new, you know what? Growth. Growth. Man, there's the actual WandaCon website right there. We've got 57 days, 23 hours, and 38 seconds. There it is, right there. It's in the. I put it in the public chat. I didn't respond properly. Where was I, Grace? Oh, um, so D six app that don't make any money. So that's four. So that's seventeen plus four is twenty one. All over the universe, that's twenty one streams of income. It's okay. You ain't got to play the organ, Grace, but they don't know when the shout is. All right, I you do. Just, you keep the organ going, but you ain't got to do it in this moment. They just don't know when to shout. Renee know when to shout. Renee know when to shout. Okay. So let me explain all these to y'all as well. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna put out a brief description, I suppose, for you all in the main chat. And that way you if you want to save it, you can. I'll do that. Or if you're visual, maybe you need to whatever. I, I don't know, but that, that, that's what I'll do. Let's start with candid. The candid the, the version of candid that comes out first is Apple. It's, it's Apple, it's Apple. It's we maybe maybe I'll have a bit on the website but it's absolutely Apple first without a doubt absolutely Apple first all right read that out loud Diablo oh well are you in a loud environment you got your how's it sounding no you sound good so keep keep that Just don't don't leave that no more and it is a groundbreaking AI powered music and podcast streaming platform Blending the best features of industry leaders like Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify, while introducing revolutionary elements that set it apart. Developed with the vision of enhancing user experience and empowering creators, Candid focuses on organic reach and fair compensation for artists. You're muted. Oh, 
one? I know, right? Oh, um, that is nice. Oh, I, I even gave you the... So what I'm doing with Canon right now is that's our Spotify, that's our Apple Music, that's our Apple Podcast, to where people would be hosting their albums and their podcasts on our stuff. Let me tell you why. But first off, I'm an artist. Um, I, I, I had a great meeting with Sean yesterday, which we're coming... If you're in the streaming service, you 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 like have the conversation I'm about to have in a little bit. I had a great conversation with Sean. He's producing my entire album, and then uh, him and my my son, my 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 main youngest son, my 11 year old. Okay, Sean all, B. Sean, Sean B. B. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Sean B. Excuse me. Sean B. He's producing my album, and my youngest son, my 11 year old, has all my musical gifts and passions. So he's going to be learning from Sean and stuff because, and, and then my my oldest is wants to go to the NBA. So we might be leaving the country because I'm I'm working with LeBron right now with him, and I'm trying to turn him pro within the next year. My my youngest son, I'm trying to turn him pro, so and put him on the path to the G League, wherever pro takes him. If that's France, Africa, China, wherever Philippines. Or wherever he can go play pro on him as a 15 year old, I'm going to play him with grown men so he can get that pressure off of him. So we, we're doing that right now. So he'll be his, his, his mom uh, is ready to, ready to go. She, she, she ready to go. And so she, she'll be, she'll be with them, uh, whatever. And so wherever he goes, then my son is going to go because you can do musician anywhere. So they, they're going to definitely get real culture. Like everybody's, Texas is fading away um, for these guys because they have these dreams. And luckily for us, since I homeschool them, I can do this. This is the whole point. I couldn't do this if they had to go to school Tuesday. They can, they, they're homeschooled, so they, they work. And plus, you know, with Grace's help, they'll be graduating within the next year anyway, all of them. Um, yeah, even the six-year-old the six will be graduating. She should be finished with all of school by the time she's nine. I'm rushing past all that stuff. So she's in the we we me and Grace made up an accelerated math program. We thought it was gonna be 12 months, like it's gonna be 18 months to get through K through 12. But like it's gonna be we only pay for about 18 months. It can even be 24 months, but finishing K through 12 in two years is still groundbreaking. And of course, Susan, I'm strategic, I'm recording it all because I want to make it an app. But that's later. <laughs> that's just, hey, we ain't no dummy, Susan. We ain't no dummy. But Candid is going to pay creators 40%. So when they have subscriptions and people get exclusive subscription, we're going to use the OnlyFan model and give them 40%. You can't make 40% at a record label. Then we're taking a current streaming model, how they get you get paid for streaming, and we're going to pay up to 40% more than what they're already paying. So when you get a billion streams, as far as I'm concerned, that should relate to at least four, $5 million at minimum, as far as I'm concerned. That's not what it relates to today. It's something like $40,000. But just, yeah, yeah, hear me? So not only are we going to pay people more for streaming, and we're going to adopt the OnlyFans model and pay them for their albums. Guess what that means though, Pastor Tony? It means that I am doing to music industry what Steve Jobs did to it in 2008. Here are a few of the features. If you, if you don't know what I just did, what I just said, I don't have time to explain it, but just look it up. Okay. Completely AI-powered music discovery. Personalized podcast, voice control, navigation, mood-based recommendations, interactive AI DJ, smart offline playlists, creative focus analytics. You can you can change the sound with AI. Don't worry about it. I don't want to say too much about that. So if you hear me be vague, it's on purpose because I, I invented something new. Content matching for creators. I've taken some social media aspects of content creating and matching. And put that in there. Now, let's see. AI generated music reviews. Oh, don't worry about that. 
Pastor. Hey, you've been listening to this album for quite some time, Pastor Tony. I've created a review for you. Would you like to leave this review for this artist? Is there anything you want to change? Boom. That's a game. That's a game that, changer right there. Where, where's that music? <laughs> I mean, that is awesome. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And and a bunch of other stuff that I won't say. Uh, Real time lyrics generation, but I I won't say anything after that. I won't say anything after that. I won't say anything after that. I won't say anything. Here are the one, two, three, four. Candid has five values. Grace, if you could. All right. Five values. Yeah, hold on. There we go. Core values of candid. Privacy centric. We staunchly believe in user privacy. We do not sell customer data. Number two, add free experience. Enjoy oh, enjoy uninterrupted music and podcasts without ads. Praise God. Empowering creators. No, I, I would have played the, the organ, but I'm I'm reading. Empowering creators. We are committed to paying creators up to 40 times more than current streaming models. Organic reach. Our algorithms are designed to offer nearly 100% organic reach for creators. Uh, and diverse monetization models, including a streaming model and organic reach. reach. Yes. Organic okay. reach. Every time you put something, your whole audience gets to see it. Oh, that is good. That is very good. Okay, okay. Diverse monetization models, including a streaming model and an OnlyFans-like paid model where fans can directly support their favorite artists and creators. Woo. You know how well that will work for my meditations and things like that that I'm trying to stream? I mean, you, you put me out there. <laughs> I'm loving it. it. I know it works so well because I because everybody who follows me is like Tracy and they have a podcast. Like like Dion has a podcast, a meditation. Yes. Y'all need it. Yes. Y'all, yes, you absolutely need it. I know exactly what I'm doing. I built this based off of y'all feedback. And at this point, I just got tired of sending people to Red Circle. There you go. There you go. So just, just be ready for that. Candidate is actually up right well. Will Candid have referral links? So for those who are on Candid, if they refer someone, they'll get like an extra benefit. Sure. I I wouldn't see why not. Yeah, I didn't think about it, but yeah, absolutely. But I, I can't see anything wrong with that. Can't see anything wrong with that. Here is Candid right now. It's in the Xcode. I'm showing this for the programmers. This is what I was talking about, Xcode. And this, I purposely, I got it to where... There's, I don't have any pictures. I'm purposely, I don't want to show y'all no code. Right I now. am so proud of you because yeah, last yeah. year it would have been code up and down this. Up well, and down I, mean, I can. Screen. I can. I can. Like, you know, I, I can. Like, bam. You know what I'm saying? I don't, don't think I can't. You understand? I got some errors going on because I haven't finished. Uh, it's like, this This is my machine learning model and this stuff. Okay, that's what that is. And music discovery and blah, blah, blah. I can. Don't get it twisted. But I'm just not. Okay, I'm just not. There we go. All right, moving on. That's candid. What was the second one I said, Grace? I don't remember. Uh, the second one is uh, Caramel Smash. Okay, that's this. Just think of this glorified version of Candid Crush. It's actually not. It's not. But that's just easy for me to explain. I already had it out three years ago, but it only had fifty levels. I'm in the process right now of putting it to alt unlimited levels while adding a bunch of different AI inside of it right now. So I'm doing that. I have some, like, there's some other things. Back when I, when I coded it in, I wasn't as good as AI as I am now. So I, I want I want to do that. That's coming out soon with, it'll have, it'll be free with in-app purchases. You could pay for lives, all sorts of stuff like that. You know, so, so it's a hyper casual game. It will start off on the iPhone as well. And but it'll be quickly on Android within the next you know week or so or whatever. Do whatever. So that's there. That's that's there right there. So now you got videos and you got streaming because Candid is in streaming. So let's go back to streaming department now. So Chris is in the streaming department. Sean P is in the streaming department. Sean B by default is in the streaming department. Jalen is moving out of sales. Uh, you, you, uh, you Yes, sir. 
I don't think he knew. Jalen is moving out of sales into the streaming department. He's he's double dipping, but he's getting ready to do it. Jalen has produced, written, and produced uh, eight movies, like eight original movies over the holidays. So we're, he's working on that. He's presented to me and Deanna and all of them, with none of them whack. They were all great. So he's all doing that. Was yeah, he's doing that. He, he's doing that. So he's going to be real big. And these are original movies. That's the streaming division. I mean, these are original movies that are density six originals or whatever you want to call it. So you got that going on. And so Carry Metal Smash is a video game. Just know that the video game will be out. And then what was third, Grace? I'm, Phoenix I'm Eon. Okay, we talked about that already. That's the AI finance debt, debt, debt management and credit repair app. It, it helps you raise money. It helps you get money for your your uh, companies and et cetera. There's, that, that code is actually probably more finished than there, any any other code that we have. You know, well, that didn't care about the smash because it was already finished. No one there. And then and then, burn chat. I'm gonna keep totally silent about burn chat. Just know that it is FBI. Only Pastor Tony has seen the full of it. it is FBI grade encryption. I'm using quantum quantum encryption exists. I now not many people can do it. I been I'm trying to not say too much. I am doing new things with it. I take privacy very seriously with my military background. And plus I'm just I just don't want you in my business. You know, I, okay. I, so for my notes, can I put that Burn Chat is a privacy app? Burn Chat is a messenger. It is a it is a messaging app with quantum level encryption. Thank you. Yes, that's what it is. But so let me let me explain what Burn Chat. In fact, let's let's we, we, let, let's put some of that out there real quick. Put some of that. It, 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 it's it's relevant. Embrace burn chat. I'm just reading from what I already got written down here. Where advanced quantum encryption and AI driven security transforms transforms your communic your communication into unbreakable codes designed for those who demand the utmost secrecy and sophistication in digital dialogue. Burn Chat, crafted by Density6, is at the forefront of revolutionizing secure messaging more than the app. It's an intelligent digital guardian powered by advanced AI and deep learning algorithms, providing a truly adaptive digital companion for users. It champions unparalleled privacy and data protection, boasting features such as quantum encryption for impregnable Communication, zero knowledge proof systems for enhanced privacy. I'll have to explain that in a little bit. And a decentralized network reducing vulnerabilities to cyber threats. I'll explain that too. Burn Chat's biometric authentication combined with SFTP. I'll explain that. It's just to mean secure file transfer. And forensic audit, auditing capabilities sets a new standard for communication. I'll explain. Let's see. This app includes functions such as self-destruction method, self-destructing messages, end-to-end encryption, multi-layered security protocols. It also offers automated trans. I'm gonna be quiet for that one right there. I'm <laughs> gonna be quiet. <laughs> okay. But the biggest three things on Burn Chat Grace. There's plenty. There's plenty. But the biggest three things that are not consumer related but they are. What's my agenda here, Susan, to get the FBI and Bank of America using our apps. And that's that's my real agenda here uh, for this particular one here. Quantum encryption, forensic auditing capabilities, and restricted access mode and compliance, which just means state-of-the-art privacy and security and secrecy. All right, let's go back and explain some of this nerd stuff up here for you. Where was I? Okay, zero. Uh, let me let me know. Here's what happened: when you delete your message from Burn Chat, you also delete it from the database. Even the company don't have a record of it. It's also a decentralized network, like 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 
know, like blockchain, it's decentralized. I can't give you what you deleted. Ain't nobody in charge of it. I can barely reset your password and I'm strongly considering not resetting your password. I'm like 98% sure I don't even want you to have the ability to reset your password. Sorry. Whatever you had up in there, go create you another account because you're locked out. I genuinely want to do that because I don't want hackers figuring out your password. So there ain't no reset password. This is what it is. There ain't no reset password. So it's completely decentralized. Since there is nothing in charge, you use it, it's yours. You lose it, it's gone forever. Such should be your digital communications. This idea of big tech, this idea of big tech holding information that you get, you can't run for president or or the first thing, first thing a company do when you put in your application is they go look for you on social media. That's trash. That's trash. You should be able to say, I love Trump without losing your friends. And you should be able to say F Trump without losing your friends because it's gone from the internet. It's gone. It's gone. Okay. Oh, yes. Well, uh, Melissa sent me a private message. Yes, yes, and yes. We're on the same page. Doing a little more. You're in the right, you're in the right area. I'm purposely not saying a few things. I, I understand what you're saying. I'm just making a note. So for your information, that's the tech they're they're needing and trying to find. It yeah. doesn't exist right now. Yeah. It exists, but it's in three different apps. Okay, good, good, good. Half of the I think 80% of what's in Burn Chap does not exist. It does not exist. I had to make it up. It just does not exist. I, I had to take something that existed and then do something extra with it. My goal is to my goal is I want secret agents communicating with our apps with, with this app. I want secret agents communicating with this app. So like trusting it so much where they know. You know, like Mission Impossible after this message was self-destruct. <laughs> and Marisa that make HR and hiring managers mad. I love it. Absolutely. And, and it should be. Yeah. Now, can I just cut in one, one second? Sure can. I said that, I said that because um, so many candidates I've lost because hiring managers will go out, look for the candidate. And they'll tell me, well, she has a bikini picture on. So what? Who cares? It's her personal stuff. Who cares? Can she do the job? Leave her alone. So yeah. this is going to be amazing. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. But they're going to hate it. <laughs> I mean, God forbid her being a woman. God forbid her having an opinion or showing something. Having I'm hips. Sure. She's unqualified with those she breasts. Yeah, she's too beautiful. She can't do yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we do that to women. It's crazy. It's crazy. We do that for sure. Here's what I didn't tell y'all. Burn chat is inside of every app that we have that sends messages. Can I show y'all what that looks like? Okay. So right now, if I come to... If I come to Facebook, you see Facebook. But when I want to send a message, ain't no message for Facebook no more. It's a whole company in itself now called Messenger. And this is what you get. Exactly. Exactly. Rhino Leg, when you send your messages to Rhino Leg, it's actually burn chat. That's why I made it a standalone thing because it's all, every time you send the standard of density six is every single time you send a message, it's private. Now, do you have the option to keep it there? You sure do. 
Antonio strongly recommends you don't, but I'm giving you the option. Sometimes you need to go back and forth with the conversation and blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, yeah, well, yep. A, a kid's message too. You're absolutely right. You brought that up before. I'm, I'm going to handle that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to handle that for sure. For sure. So there you go. Anyway, yeah, I get the point. All right. What was the next one, Grace? After Burn Chat, the D6 app. All right, no need to explain that one. We, we, I'll, I'll keep that one. Hush, hush. Well, it's not, it's not hush, hush. There's no need to explain it. All right. Which divisions are going to be busy? Let me, let me pull up all these divisions. Streaming division is very busy this year. God bless all y'all. I don't I don't care if you're remote or not. Streaming division has a lot going on. Streaming division has a lot going on. I want y'all to notice inside all of the divisions. Uh, I'll I'll send y'all a new update, but I, I I did, but I'll resend it again. I don't know if y'all have noticed. There's no y'all haven't noticed. There's no marketing division. Now. I have yet to establish a marketing division. There's a reason for that. This this is I've I've changed I'm, I'm, <laughs> there's a reason for that. <laughs> there's an absolute reason for that. The sales division is no longer just sales. I'll show it to you. It's sales right here. It's sales and Sonia. <laughs> sales and Sonia. Is sales and customer experience division. They're wrapped in one. They're wrapped in one. They're wrapped in one. The reason I have not established a marketing division, and I have I really don't have a plan to, is because marketing is everywhere. Ain't no marketing division. Because it's in all the divisions. That's why there's no marketing division. It's in all the divisions. Is there a marketing division? You're absolutely right. There's a whole group. Amory's in charge of it. Is it one on paper? No. And there's a reason why, but I'll expose that here in a little bit. All right. Sales division is going to be extremely busy. Coaches and conferences division, in quarter one, you have no choice because of WonderCon. You say you got no choice. AI and technology that is that's going to that's including the rolling streamers that Grace was talking about. What you call them, Grace? Rolling, rolling shutters, screen, rolling rolling screens and shutters. Uh huh. Rolling screens and shutters. Then you have I guess you could put Canon in there. Canon to kind of double. Yeah, you can put Canon in there. Canon goes in that and streaming. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. Burn chat will be in there too. Other divisions are going to be super busy. Video game division. If I didn't say streaming division. Mexit news or a news company division. And then I'm, and then the athletic division, which I'm about to bring up next. What about your YouTube? Is that ready to go? I don't know. You read all of the private it messages so good. silently, but that, that wasn't supposed to be mine out loud. It's beautiful. Well, that didn't sound private. Well, that's still. fine. That's fine. So my question, so that everybody will know, because this is this is what we do here. I'm I'm talking talk about business wise. Um, Antonio built his own YouTube. Oh, and it's built and it's um, done. So it's, my it's, question it's, it's, was, it's live, it's live right? That's now. what I'm saying. So no, no, not now, not now, not now. I Bye. I build things all the time. It's it's live right now. It's it's. It's on the airways right now for years. It's That's what I'm airways. saying. Like you actually have, you actually have videos uploaded to remind me the name. 
Nope, because they're gonna look. They're gonna search for it. <laughs> no. oh, 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 let me look, let me find it and no. let me remember the name. No. I had a I had I, a whole. I, it's in my notes somewhere because I had a whole page on it. Uh, I, there you go. I sent you the name now. Yes, name that's it. There you go. No, no, they're gonna search for it. They're gonna search for it. Gonna search for it. <sighs> so okay, so my question is. Are you launching that in Candid at the same time? So no. that way when people are... No, not a quarter one. Not a okay. Quarter one. So, okay, so this is my question. Why aren't mm -hmm. you releasing it in quarter one? Because you have people who do vlogs. You have people who, you know, get it. You have people podcast, like Renee and Tracy. Renee yeah, and Tracy. And, with and radio like Beyond. You have Makes podcasts sense. and vlogs that kind of go hand in hand, you know, in a sense. So why it, I'm asking this question for business no, purposes? It's, uh, you should ask why, a question. You should ask a question. Why wouldn't yeah. I release something that's already ready, that's already out? Because I don't want to release two things in the streaming days, in the streaming division. That's the, the, oh, the answer yeah, that is actually sense. yeah. The answer is no, the answer sense. is actually I want to keep what we kill right. and I want to have one focus. That's okay. why. Yeah. And you don't want to. No. Of your products competing in the same market, that doesn't make well, sense. Well, I, they won't be necessarily competing. Our energy towards them will be competing. Gotcha. Thank that's you. That's what I don't want. Yeah, that's what I don't want. That's what I, don't want. I want epic launches, not me. Well, I'm gonna launches. build. I'm gonna build my page up so when you do launch it, people gonna be on there. Be like, hush. All this already up here. Yep. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Hey, put me on. Yeah, absolutely. Melissa, get ready in five minutes. Go ahead, Jalen. <laughs> Cut, cut your camera uh -huh. on too if, if if you're not driving, because it, it'll be better on camera if you can. Go ahead for for, for for that one thing you cut it back off. Go ahead, Jalen. It's a little off topic, um, but I remember you were talking about us having um like media passes or event passes because of Mexit. Hey, that's coming up. So good job. Thank you for reminding me. Let me let me make a little note of that. Oh, I can't. Grace. Put it in the put it in the the chat. Bring, bring that back up because it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. What, the <clears throat> press passes is that what you said? Yeah, y'all you already got them now. I just haven't given them to you, but you already got them. Mm -hmm. Like if if I wanted to get you to conference, I just submit your name. You you you're, you're, you got them. Like that's I, Melissa's already used one. Deanna's used one. So yeah, 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 for sure. Um, before yeah, you I would, move, I would oh. definitely want to know how to do that. Oh, oh okay, I, I'll show you. Um, before you move on, I want to make sure I don't, I know I don't have all of the divisions. You said they're going to be way too busy. I know you said the streaming division, but the sales division is now called the athletic division. Let me just start over there. Let me, okay. let me start over. And I think that'll help. <laughs> but let me answer. Let me answer Jalen's question first. Okay. And I'm going to let Melissa do a little plug here, an important plug. And then, then I'll start over. Every conference has, I mean, you scroll down. There's a section that says about press or it could be many different things. And you can apply as a journalist to attend that conference and they give you full access or or mostly access, et cetera, because they want press for their conference. They want press for their conference. And all you have to do is be on the website and have recent articles that you have written. The recent articles you have written under your name. There you go. Simple as that. And Mexican News has enough internet presence to be qualified as a tier three new news company. There you go. Uh, three is let's call it small market, and two is media market. Tier one is CNN, Fox News, all that stuff like that. Okay, go ahead, Melissa. Hey everyone, maybe you can see me, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. So he is working with Dion. So when Dion comes up with marketing things, I get to publish 30 different magazines. However, in order to continue to do this, I need sales for this division of my company and you guys get money. I love giving you guys money. Oh, so it's 20% permission for you guys if you sell this package but it allows me to continue to put all the these six products into 30 different magazines including celebrity.com so that's all what no, no, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you know i'm glad you brought that up so grace let's put a, a strong emphasis back on that because we, we talked about doing the holidays but i want the sales team spoiled so the more can trust me 
Ain't nobody turning down twenty thousand dollar months. Just, 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 just keep it going, okay? So please, please put that between the stuff we're doing with Ken and Melissa, and then right, like the more the money the sales team making, the more they're gonna be excited to wake up in the morning to come here. Cool. All right, let's re- let's go backwards and repeat. The divisions that would be busy coaching and conferences division because of WonderCon. That's pretty much the only thing in there. Tech and AI has a few things, but see, in this particular case down there is a few things in this division, but they're opposing though. They're not in they're, they don't cross pollinate like like Candid and Co-Create. And to be honest with you, I don't think I'm ever gonna release Co-Create. I didn't accidentally say the name out loud. I was I like, hey, what does he do? Yeah, what does he do it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever gonna release it ever because well, I, I've got some reason. Maybe I'll get back to it in here in a second. So the technology and AI is the rolling shutters, whatever you call it, rolling screens and shutters. And then you have, you could put, you could put, I mean, I guess everything is, you could put candid there because well, I will just move candid to stream. So d- just to roll in AI. Okay. And, and burn chat, burn chat could go there. Burn chat goes there. So burn chat is the only app there. <laughs> All right. Now, next division would be video game division. That's Caramel Smash. <clears throat> I am working on a next generation gaming console. It's called, I forget what it's called. I don't know what it's called. I'll get back to it in a little bit. I posted it to you online now. I, I, get, I get to it a little bit. There's video game division, streaming division. There's a bunch of stuff going on in that between Candid and then a bunch of movies and documentaries. <clears throat> Makes it, or news, I just call it news company division. Soon we'll be posting a thousand news articles, actually probably 2,000. Dion has been promoted to executive assistant. So I can pretty much do whatever I want to do with her. And she's writing articles on Mexican news under her name alone that are just highlighting me and what I'm doing, like just that particular thing there. And then of course, Anne Marie and all the work that she is doing and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. So you got all those things happening. So Mexican news is going to have a lot of traction. And then, of course, the sales division. I said to sales, sales division. Once the D six app comes out and it's greatness, that Sonya is going to she's going to be busy till our eyeballs. Due to in fact, yeah, I think pray for warmth for her. I think they lost power due to it being so cold. So yeah, that 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 happens. Yeah. Yeah. So their power is out. So I have no idea how they're keeping themselves at the moment. No, she has not. gas heat. Oh, okay, good. Uh, yeah, no I'm talking to her right now. Okay, good. Yeah, that's not. We have, we got gas in te- gas in Texas still regulated. We don't have we we, we electricity in Texas is deregulated. We got, anybody can sell electricity, but gas. It's, it's not. All right, let's keep going. And sales, athletic division. So let's bring up the athletic division real quick. It's run on the call. Um, no, he sent me a message saying he wouldn't be able. He had to um, sub today. Okay, that makes sense. Makes sense. All right, then. So what we're going to do is we got the athletic division up and rolling. There's two things. Since my son wants to go to the NBA, and I'm kind of – there's a lot that I have to learn. And from AAU to – knowing which trainer to go to. It's just a bunch of stuff. So we're writing this down, Pastor Tony, to try to... I'm not sure why. I'm just writing it down to because well, I'm going to make... Well, something's going to come out of it. I just don't know what it is. But now our athletic division is is technology. It's kind of like Nike and it comes to the souls and stuff, et cetera. You know, we're, we're inventing different ways to do technology uh, for sports, sports stuff. However, we are getting ready... Yes, Carl was the athletic guy, right? As well. Yes. So Carl, yes. if you can hear me, you we're gonna 
so uh, let's have him double dip now, Grace. So let me give Carl Ron's number. And Carl, you're now in two divisions because we're moving forward with that now. And now you're about three meetings behind because I forgot. I, I forgot about that. So that's that's on me. But we're going to catch you up. We're getting ready to sponsor a basketball team. I forget where they are. It's a team of 20 for $750, I believe. So get ready. We're going to raise $750. And we're going to buy all the uniforms and we're going to have our logo on the uniforms. Yes, our logo on the uniforms. And he sent this message, Grace, if you can read this. I haven't even read it yet. He sent this message. You can read it out loud just as just as the way he gave, gave it. Okay. This is the message from the league. It's got prices and everything in there. Good morning. Here's the information from the league about sponsorships, et cetera. Please let me know your thoughts. The message is from the league. That's up to the owner. The only costs are to cover uniforms, approximately $750. The other $200 for a franchise a player you get uh, back at end of the year. So $750 would do it, but you would have no money to pay the coach. So anything over $750. If you want to pay coach $500, then $1,250 would be good, would be enough. All depends what you want to make as a coach. So there's some leagues out there. We want our names on some jerseys. But here's my agenda because I ain't no fool. So I told him, but I said, I was like, yeah, we're going to do this for sure because it's advertising. But it changes the narrative, Phil. Here we are now adopting these kids and bringing them uniforms and Paying coaches. Look at this tech company giving back to the community. I ain't no damn dummy. You know, you, you, exactly what I'm, what we're trying to do over here, right? So we definitely going to do that. So just know the athletics division is already doing it. They play basketball, I think, somewhere at AAU. And I said, I want a lot of pictures. I said, no, not of me. No, no, no. I need pictures of these kids with the uniform. Do you understand how cool that's going to look? That's big time. Yeah, that's yeah. big time. Put that on a slash out of the website. Anyway, yeah, so that's that's it right there. So they, you see the prices right there, what it is. So we're going to start that um, today. So let me respond to him because I never respond. I just told him thank you. There it is. Okay. I like all of this. Let's do it. Bam. There you go. All right. So that's that. Let's, pardon. Let's hunker down on. I forgot what I wanted to say, Grace. There was somebody else. Something more important than all of it. And I was saving it to the end and I don't remember. I just keep it going to my agenda, Grace. What's next okay. on my agenda? I, I'll come back to it. Sales and sales funnels. Covered it already. So we good. So, oh, it was Deanna. That's what I wanted to do. I, I, I built it in the thing. All right. The rest of the call stays here. There are some departments and race. If you can go to assembly one of some that size build and share on the screen and go to reading me, there are some departments. Get ready to announce your learning paths to the you know, You can unmute meet your mic. There are some departments that we're doing. And Susan's going to love this. One of, one of these departments it's called or division. It's called. Where are you? Come here. No, I'm not there. Right here. Precision Medicine and Genomics Division is a real department in Density 6. I want y'all to know when I tell y'all this, I don't mean future talk. I mean, we're doing this right now. Now, you probably ain't going to see nothing for five days, but we're still doing it right now because you can't you don't build a space rocket on over a weekend. That's not the way it works. I don't know. Yeah. When JFK said, let's go to the moon. They didn't get there in 1969, July 20th. 
allegedly for the for those of you who like conspiracy theories uh, allegedly <laughs> oh it was a great tv production i'm not sure which one you want to say i believe we went to the moon but you know i, I like to mess with y'all and i but i've seen some documentaries though past the time has been like damn that i was like wait a minute they lied to me <laughs> so they're pretty convincing all right so there's breeding mean village stop right there you stop your screen grace there's a great explanation of breeding mean village on assembly this is where this is our natural path facility that spent off of two three different things this is where you have cancer and don't want chemo then you apply to go, go to breeding mean village i mean that 100 percent and it's something that's near and dear to both Diana and myself. And I so saw when she was gone traveling somewhere or whatever, I just invented it. And, and this was about this is about four years in the making. And the goal is to have natural well water, like all high vibrational alkaline things, Susan. Okay, this is actually share the screen, Grace. Let me share the screen and scroll down. Let me because I was gonna give her. Let, let, let me not do that. Scroll down to where you, it tells you, look, right here, holistic healthcare, physical, emotional, social, spiritual, intellectual, cognitive. Scroll down again. It, it gives you more details. Okay. Your diet, exercise, sleep. Scroll down. Keep going. 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 Right there. Herbal, herbal cell, food, cleanse, and nutrition. Of course, Wi Fi, AC, just, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Boom, boom, boom. You can stop right there. All right. This just gives you a little, little oversight. If you if you're familiar with Usha Village or with Dr. Sebi, if you're familiar with that, then this is the kind of stuff we're talking about. Now, Breeding Mean Village spent off for me Breeding Mean Plus, which is actually on the website, but you can't get to it. Breeding Mean Plus, which is our online description subscription service for natural path remedies. Did you see me watch those words, Diana? Did you see me? Did I see? 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 Natural path. Because you, you, you got to say certain words. You can't say, you know. So anyway, natural path remedies. Okay, remedies. So it's, we got, mm -hmm. we're in the process of learning how to do our own capsules, Susan, with the own, you know, herbs and i'll just say that and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be vague while also trying not to be vague and stuff like that to where hey you you got high blood pressure take two of these blah 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 okay that being said in the i will show you this on the screen all of that falls under this division <clears throat> very near and dear to me if you Man, Antonio, how does your brain work? It works like this, Susan. I don't know why, but it does. It works like this. I know this wording is small, but precision, the precision medicine and genomics division at Density 6 is a state-of-the-art intuitive within Density 6. I mean, initiative. Specifically established to revolutionize the field of medicine through the use of technology and quantum AI. So this a lot of this, this stuff don't exist yet. Quantum AI don't exist yet. I'm I'm actually trying to build it. That gives real time molecular analysis and genome mapping. So what does that mean? It means we look at Phil and his gen his genome, his DNA, his double helix, the triple helix. He'd be an alien, even though he's already an alien because we're all from Mars. But anyway, it's a different story. His double helix. And Phil gets medicine that works on his genome. The way medicine works now, this is one size fits all. This is why it has side effects. Because it ain't built for you, Susan. It's not built for you, Renee. It's built for the average person, or whatever that may mean. So penicillin is just this. This is why medicine has side effects. We are developing to where medicine don't have side effects, but it's specifically to your genome. That means that when you get a subscription, it is for your DNA, your body weight, your 
world history, your family history, your ethnicity, your current inabilities and capabilities for the genes that are unlocked and the genes that are have not unlocked is for your version. Okay. Yeah, yeah I see uh, Prophet Jerry getting excited. This is for you. So we're working on this right now. Go ahead, Prophet Jerry. Get ready, Deanna. <laughs> I'm on medicine right now, but everything I heard, I need that. So, um, Queen, get ready. I don't know. <laughs> we're moving to Texas this year or next year, but Queen, let's let, we we got to get into this, Queen, because this is herbs. Ah, herbs. <laughs> This is herbs. So I, I blend, I bl yeah, I blended the two conversations together. So you have one side was herbs. What I was just talking about is both herbs, but serious right. medicine. Right. Right. Like okay. If I gotta I invent, got no, 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 no. But but it's both. It's both because we because we because we're what we're doing is from the earth. You get what I'm saying? It's both. That being said, because you're right, here's herbs. This brings bring in Diana. Diana, would you tell them? how we are doing this and what happens on February 1st and do not be humble. Okay. She's saying, wait, she's giving me the, the, I didn't tell you didn't bring me up yet. Finger. Shh. Stay in your place. What's wrong with you? Yeah. She's giving me that, that finger there. Yeah, you're saying, huh? Yes. Yes. On February 1st, something will occur. I'm not. No, okay, don't no, be no, humble. No. I'm ready. No, no, no. All I'm right. so sorry. I just sent you something in line app because in order for uh, if we need that. Well, say say that out loud. Let's say that out. Okay, so from my studies, I have learned that your ancestry determines the herbs that work in your body best. So, in the process of doing this, we are going to need to develop our own technology to determine the ancestry of who you are. And the location of where your ancestry begins, so that way we can we can determine what herbs are better utilized that will work better for who you are, as far as your ancestry, your genetic coding, your DNA, all that wonderful stuff. And, and that's something I learned in one of my one of my herbal certifications, but it was based more so on the magical side no, you, 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 you're right hold on let me let, let me stop right there you, you're absolutely right because you got 12 minutes left and i, I, I want to highlight you february 1st what happens do not be humble okay so i start i start school february 1st uh-huh Ho hopefully because what my what my admissions not my admissions my academic council told me is this particular class actually starts february 12th but sometimes it started thing. early yeah but sometimes it started early so but you're going to get how many degrees I'm going to dual major. Okay. Dual major. What does that mean? I said so, don't be humble. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So I will be, I'm looking into. Pull, pull, pull your mic back close. Oh, sorry. I'm looking into two majors. The first major no, is. No, no, no. You're taking. I'm doing two, two majors. The first major is regenerative organic agriculture. The second major, which kind of came, which came up while I was in the process of talking to my academic, uh, my academic advisor, is it's going to be a, a bachelor's with a specialization in, oh crap, hold on, I lost it in regenerative. What's it called? In regenerative. Find it. Find it. I mean, I had you repeat it. Oh, so so I'm. I'm going for a bachelor's, a bachelor's of arts in regenerative organic agriculture, and then Write I'm that going down, to Grace. do regenerative organic agriculture. Write it down. R O A. Mm -hmm. Regenerative organic agriculture. And the second one, please. And then I'm going to get a dual bachelor's with a specialization right. in sustainable and regenerative living. There you go. Sustainable and regenerative living. Write both of those down. Deanna, we're sending Deanna to school for regenerative organic agriculture. And you ain't got to put a dual bachelor's. She just, and sustainable 
and regenerative living is what it you only need the sustainable part those are the two both of those are bachelor degrees interesting can you tell us why and who is who is the head I'm doing it for the fun of it. Well, like, true. like no, seriously, it it's your gift. But who is? I really am doing it for who, fun of it. <laughs> who, I'm, I'm running breeding mean from one perspective. Uh huh. And, and, and I'm running it from the other perspective. The, the other perspective is clear: regenerative organic mm -hmm. agriculture and sustainable regenerative living. Now, the sustainable regenerative living. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, on, hold on, oh. hold on. No, 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 no. Because you're gonna be, you're gonna be humble. Thank you, Grace. No, Thank I'm you, not gonna be humble. But but listen though. Listen, you're going to school for both of those. Uh -huh. So breeding me can specialize in res sustainable regenerative living and regenerative organic agriculture. And they sleeping on what we saying, because I just literally brought this up. Not to say we doing this 10 years from now. It starts February 1st or February 12th. But then you and have to the... somebody to school to go to, to get it done. Yeah, and then you have the resource-based economy, which is Arlingbrook, and that's the purpose of the specialization in sustainable and regenerative regenerative living. Try saying that ten times fast. Breeding means sits inside of Arlingbrook, so that's that sits inside of. It. So yeah, no doubt. All right, y'all clap for Diana. She's getting ready to start school for this company. Come on, yes, but notice no, notice the degree picks. Regenerative, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Regenerative organic agriculture and sustainable and regenerative living, not marketing, not something. It's specifically wait, wait, wait. for okay, what so, we're building. So for my math people, my people who absolutely love math, guess what my first math class is that's that I have to take. So my first math class, give me one second, I'm gonna let y'all know. My first math class is business step. Hold up. Nope. That's measure, actually going to be, that's actually of that. course. Okay. Something like that, Grace. I'm finna to, it's, it's, it's close. So Grace, me and you may be having a lot of fun this year. Um, My first class is mathematics. My first math class, which is, it's mathematics for sustainable regenerative living. That's, oh, that's what nice. triggered this whole thing. Cause I didn't even know that that was a thing. And so when she told me when I was looking at it and uh, Miss, Miss Kari, Ms. Kari, she was like, yeah. I was like, what is that? She said, well, basically, you know, it's the math that you would do to determine like how much plastic needs to come together to do the 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 covering of this or how much of this material you would need to build that. I was like, yep, put me in that. Please, thank you. And it, it, the first question she asked me, she said, okay, so we have you doing a major for this. You know, so what would you, what other major would you like to do? And I was like, oh, wait. I didn't know that was an option. She said, oh, yeah, like like it was an everyday thing to just have a dual major. I knew it was an option. I just didn't know it was like an everyday thing. Like you just just be like, oh, yeah, you know, doing two majors. Like it was fun. Oh, I'm not going to kill myself. <laughs> I'm 40. <laughs> and then she told me, and then I saw that, and she's like, yeah, you know, we have a whole course on this. And I was like, you do? And so that's when I was talking to Antonio, and after I after I ended the call with with Miss Kari, I went Antonio. Of course, I was like, "So hey, here's how I went. This is what she told me, and this is also something that I can do." And he was like, "Okay, do it." I was like, "Okay, hold on, wait a minute." <laughs> like, all right, hold on, let me jump in real quick. Okay, I'm trying to get y'all to see that nothing here is futuristic. Everything that we're doing, we're either getting the education to do it going to college to do it or hiring somebody who's already done it. Now, while the genomics division won't be in effect in quarter one, it's be two years, two and a half years, Susan, before you see things for that happening. But that's the whole point. If we start now, then we can do it two years from now. If we start two years from now, we can't do it to four years from now. That's, that's the way it works.
Yes, I would do this and was reading a private message, being a big boy, by reading it silently. Growth, growth. All right, I yeah. Sent it, I sent <laughs> it since Deanna just admonished me for that. All right, we're done now. Let me just close this out. I won't see you again to Thursday night. And then you'll see me Friday morning doing this very same thing somewhere else on a different note. I want to end our call with Tanya, Amir, Willie, Pastor Tony. I'm missing one person. No, okay. I think I'm missing me. Yeah. 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 So, okay. Yeah. I'm missing me. Okay. They're working hard on programming quickly to where they're about to start helping me with candid that was i told them that last week and then pastor Tony reminded me you know we're starting right now and we have five programmers and we're working diligently the plan is help the sales team love the sales team help his most important people in your life, Anne Marie and her team with the marketing to soften the crowd and everybody on the sales because that's why we're doing the rolling streaming shutters, whatever, because money. We don't want to wait for an app to come out to make money. And we don't want to rob Peter to pay Paul. We want to create an income producing asset while we then create these other income producing assets. But to my knowledge, that's 22 streams of income for quarter one. Woo! Woo! You may think Woo! that's, you know, you may think that's something. Okay, I didn't, I was meditating. I, I, I didn't even check it. I did see the notification. You may think that instead of okay. Now, if you have not Schedule with Phil and Susan. You you got real lucky. I got sick because you got real lucky. That I I got sick real lucky, and you should do that. I just I just found out. I was wondering why they kept telling Deanna kept sending me emails. I didn't know. I didn't know they wanted me to retake it over. But I'm gonna retake mine today. You can find it. I just asked myself, like, you want me to do this? It's not a problem. You want me to do it? She's like, yeah, I thought you wanted to feel the experience. So I'm going to do it myself as well. And I'll do that today. And yes, ma'am. Just so everyone knows, um, we have completed 23 so far. We've got um, 26. 26, yeah. Two, three more scheduled. And then with the new people, we've got um, two yet to do that we haven't heard from, but I'm sure we will. We sent the letter out. Grace or Deanna, make sure that that happens because. Yeah. Yeah. That's just Satish and, you know, I, you know, I, had the pleasure i know satish so i'm not worried about that but uh and then deb and i think he was still getting set up with everything so i think he might be on the call now but we've had a great time it has been um after getting everybody scheduled that's not the fun part um but the fun part is meeting everyone and going through um, everything with them, the strengths and all the other things that we do, getting to know each other. So it's been a great time, and I want to thank everyone uh, for participating. Outstanding. So definitely receive that, and I'll be taking mine today, uh, lead by example, because I, I got clarification when we do it last night. I will tell you all this in closing Since everything is focused on sales, then there's levels of how far away from sales you are. The further you are away, the more you're going 
I don't know what to do. You might as well just stay in that energy and just do it with a smile because it ain't nothing for you to do. It's not. It's not anything, it's not anything for you. Just chill, smile, you know, whatever. The closer you are to sales, you, you're busy all day long. All day long, you're busy. They're, I'm telling you, these these Dion's and Enas and Grace, feeling suit. They they busy all day. They just busy all day long. It's every single day, it's busy due to the fact that they're close to sales. How it feels, Susan, close to sales because there's a whole mindset and you know, organizational cultural organization, and you can't have sales without any organization. Therefore, they're close to sales. It's just. Dion is my assistant, so she's close to everything. Ina is operating as the CO. She's close to everything. Grace is the chief sales officer. God bless her and her whole body to keep up. Carl is a director in sales. These people are way too busy. So reach out to them and say thank you. And Marie's busy because marketing is close to sales from a long-term standpoint. If you're on her team and you ain't got nothing to do, it's just because you ain't as close as her because she's got to do it. Or maybe she assigned however she's leading. It just is what it is. Okay. That does not mean things disorganized. It means there's a focus on one department. Because we're generating salaries. That's all it means. So just stay happy. If you don't, then pause. Just pause. Like there's no, there's no bad news here. That there's, there's there's nothing bad. Just pause, and we'll see you later. And we'll see you later. Just pause and, and relax. Just, just just know that. Okay. Yeah. Just 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 hold what you got. It's it's, it's not an issue. My final words to you are 2094. That's what I got planned for us. That's why you see those divisions. And we're going to do the whole genomic stuff. That's 2094. So quantum AI. There's a there's there's something that I'm calling a zero dawn, which um, I haven't really showed y'all. That's the 70 year plan in which we're doing this. And I'll break it down one week. So I just want you to know that we ain't getting to 2094 if we don't take January, February, and March violently, viciously, aggressively serious. How you start also determines how you finish. And I know you've been taught. Well, it's not about how you start, it's how you finish. I know. Because everybody wants to like make losing comfortable. I'm telling you, that's a lie. Because starting well gives you advantages over generations. If you don't think starting well is important, then you come from privilege. Starting well is very important. Anybody who's going to lose in this Olympic year, what is losing in the Olympic year? Second place to an Olympian. I can't believe she's up there crying and she's got a silver medal. You don't understand what she went through for the last four years. You sitting fat on your couch getting mad at them for crying in second place. Second place is losing to them because they didn't get to go out. They didn't get to eat the hamburger. Start well because missing the podium is fractions of a second. Not a second. Fourth place and first place is a fraction of a second. So we got to start well. So all of us like January, February, and March. This is the greatest January, February, and March of our lives. All of you, we make this work. 
every last one of you are millionaires because that's how companies work. You're just the first employees, you're millionaires, you're millionaires, and billionaires between stocks, all sorts of stuff. Man, take this like Apple, 1981, Microsoft, 1980. Take this like Yahoo, 1999, not Yahoo today, bad leadership. Take this very seriously because the world is ours. I appreciate you and your time. Everything has been good. Go back to doing whatever you do and make sure you brush your teeth, especially back there, the wisdom teeth, so you don't have those problems as you get older because that stuff be hurting. Don't nobody want no wisdom teeth pain. Trust me. It's a terrible thing. Terrible thing. And stay warm. Pray for everybody that's in the middle of a cold crisis going on. Thank you all, everybody. We appreciate you. Melissa, I will jump on the thing you sent me. Susan, I will listen to your message. I have to do a few things after this, and then we'll go from there. Love everybody. You can't play better. You can't dominate. Love everybody. Love you more. Love you more. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Let's go. You too.